Hello. Today we're going to start a new series on all the colors of the mm -hmm. rainbow. When it talks about the rainbow in um, Hebrew, it always says the bow in the cloud. And this bow, the same word keshet, is used for an archery bow. But when it talks about the rainbow, it talks about the bow in the cloud. Genesis 9.13, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. In Ezekiel 1.28, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahweh. And when I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. So my father initiated the rainbow at the time um, after the flood with Noah, and we see that it also appears around the throne in heaven. In Revelation 4.3, And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. The Greek word for rainbow is iris, um, like iris, like iridescent, which uh, gives us the idea of, of many sparkling colors, even in English. Revelation 10.1 And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face, as it were, the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. So we will do more investigation about the uh, physics of rainbows after we finish investigating all the colors. And we're going to go through the colors in a traditional order, and we're going to start with red. There are actually two words that mean red in the Hebrew, and the first of these is Adom. You're also going to see a form that says Admoni, um, or adu, adum, aduma, they all come from the same root. Genesis 25, 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Um, as the child was born, the twins are born, and Esau is the older, and his hair color is red. Exodus 39:34. And the covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of badger skins, or whatever animal that is, the tachash, and the veil of the covering. Also a picture of this adom, admoni, the skins, the ram skins are dyed to be the color red. Numbers 19.2. And this is the ordinance of the law which Yahweh hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came a yoke. And of course, the rabbis in Israel are waiting for this red heifer to appear again. Uh, sometimes we hear a uh, word, oh yes, they found it, and then we hear a word, no, it grew a white hair. So uh, at the right time, I'm sure that there will be produced this red heifer again. Again in Genesis 25, 30, And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore his name was called Edom. Uh, we're going to look at the name of Edom in a minute, but there is not even a word there for pottage. It's just that, that stuff, that red, red stuff is what, what uh, Esau wants. In 2 Kings 3.22, And they rose up early in the morning, and the sun shone upon the water, and the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as blood. And we'll see about the blood in a minute. Now you can recognize this root, that it is the root Adam or Adam. We tend to think of Adam as being the first man's actual name, but we see that it means man or mankind. Genesis 1.26, And God said, Let us make man, Adam, in our image, after our likeness. 
and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 6, 7. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man, in other words, all of mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man, Adam, and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Again, in general, uh, Adam can refer to any man. Psalm 32, 2. Blessed is the man. There actually is no the in the Hebrew. It's the man. Man is blessed, which man, unto whom Yahweh imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Uh, in a negative sense, Isaiah 6.11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses are without man. In other words, there will be no human being, and the land be utterly desolate. In Micah 7.2, The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. Again, this just appears in the singular, Adam. In other words, of all, from all of mankind, there is none upright. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. So there's an association between the color red and the human being. The word Adama means ground. Genesis 2.5 and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For Yahweh God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man, any Adam, to till the ground, the Adama. And we see this close relationship, uh, Genesis 2.7, And Yahweh God formed man of the dust of the ground, he formed the Adam out of the Adama and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. In Genesis 3.23, Therefore Yahweh God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So it's almost as if that earthiness which was in the man and the man did not control his own fleshliness, his own earthiness, now this is going to be brought forth into an externalization where physically the man, the Adam, will have to control, to work the Adama, in other words, for him to get food. The other word which is hidden inside the Adam is the dumb, and dumb means blood. Genesis 4.10 and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Speaking of Cain and Abel, the blood here is in the plural. Genesis 9, 6. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Perhaps you have already seen a teaching where the uh, ten sayings, the ten words of God are called the Ten Commandments, are lined up uh, five on one side and five on the other side. And so the first commandment is parallel to the sixth commandment. The first commandment is um, not to have any other gods. And the sixth commandment is do not murder. Because when we murder, because man is in the image of God, it is like trying to kill God, if that were possible, which of course it's not. We also want to be tracking this uh, situation of, of the earthiness and of living by blood. Leviticus 17.11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar, to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Actually, it does not say the life of the flesh. It says the soul of the flesh, the nephesh of the flesh, 
is in the blood. The essence of who you are is built into your blood. The Bible tells us over and over again that Esau is Edom. So obviously it must be very important and it's something that we want to keep in mind. It is the picture of that uh, fleshly man who is living by the blood, by the dumb, and who is interested more in his own prosperity on this earth than his future inheritance. Genesis 36.1. Now these are the generations of Esau who is Adam. Uh, Esau is the only person, I think, who has three references to who he is and, and who his generations are and where his land is. Esav comes from the idea of being hairy as we saw in his birth. Adom again it was he was red and uh, later he's going to be attached to the name Seir which has to do with like also hairy but the hairiness particularly of a goat. Genesis 36 43 Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram these be the dukes of Adom according to their habitations in the land of pose their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. His character and nature is going to pervade these people who are going to be living in a dome for generations. Obadiah 1.8 Shall I not say in that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount? of Esau. In following this idea that uh, he who lives by the blood will die by the blood, that this is connected to Esau by his name Adam. He is the Adam, the fleshly man. The Dom, the blood, is inside the man. From Isaac's uh, blessing, Genesis 27, 40, And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. We are told to stay away from these kind of people. Psalm 26, 9, Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. Uh, Anshe damim, men of blood. In other words, they're, they're not uh, people who are running around bleeding, but they're people who are trying to uh, take other people's lives or hurt other people. Uh, better translated in Proverbs 29.10, the bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. The next time we will discuss the other word, which is uh, a red color that is used in the um, Tanakh. In the meantime, keep your eyes on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom. Snow